Welcome back for an episode of Chemistry is All That Matters and today we're going to talk about the properties of matter. So let's move forward and let's talk about some of these properties. So when we describe matter like anything you're trying to get a handle on what that matter is, what it does, what it looks like. So we're going to make observations and what we're looking at is we're looking at the properties of the matter. And properties can either be intensive or they can be extensive. Now anything that's a characteristic or a quality, this is considered a qualitative observation. It's more of a description. So qualitative observations refer to what are called intensive properties. Now a property or characteristic of quantity is a quantitative observation and a quantitative observation is an extensive property. So what does this look like? Well, extensive properties would be, we have here a picture of three strawberries, 20 grams of mass, there are 98 seeds per strawberry, and 16 sepal leaves. So these are numeric, measurable, quantitative properties, extensive properties. Now, over on the right side, we have a list of intensive properties. The strawberries are red, the strawberries are sweet, the sepals are green, the strawberries are shiny, and these are characteristics and descriptive. So they are qualitative because they're the quality of the matter. So here we have a list of different properties, and what I'm going to ask you to do is pause the video and there's actually a PDF available for you if you want to print that PDF and basically you're gonna put an I for intensive and you're gonna put an E for extensive so you can do this mentally here or you can uh, go ahead and download the PDF and use that PDF to fill in your answers so I'm gonna ask you to stop the video now go ahead and fill that in and then come back and check your answers So let's see how you did. So shiny aluminum bar, shiny is more of a description, that's an intensive property, I. E for extensive because we're measuring the mass in 32.5 grams. We're finding the volume of the iron bar, that's a numeric value, extensive. The aluminum bars are smooth, that's more descriptive, that's a quality, so we're talking about an intensive property. The width of each bar is 2 centimeters and the length of each bar is 6 centimeters. Those both are measurable numeric values, both extensive. And the edges are very sharp and however the corners have been rounded. So the edges being sharp and the corners being rounded are both intensive properties. So hopefully you did pretty well on that, but let's talk about other ways we can look at the properties of matter. So again, we're looking for descriptions and we're looking for different properties. And some of those properties can be what are called physical properties and others are called chemical properties. Now a physical property is a property or characteristic that can be observed and it does not change as the material changes. For instance, if I take a piece of paper and I tear it up, it's still paper, but it's just in different shapes. So that is a physical property of paper. But if we were to burn the paper, the burning of the paper would change what it is. So if you're changing, able to change what it is, then that is a chemical property. So chemical properties are usually those that undergo chemical changes, while physical properties are those that are changed by physical changes. So again, on that PDF you downloaded before, or you can just continue this right here and do this mentally. So here's a list of physical or chemical properties. And what I'm going to ask you to do again is stop the video for a second, go through the list, put a P where it's physical, put a C where it's chemical, and when you're finished with that on the PDF that you downloaded, or if you do that mentally right here on the screen, um, come back and check how you did on your answers. Okay, so let's see how you did. So here we have that list. Blue color, physical property. Density, physical property. If you have uh, pieces of aluminum and they're large or they're small, they still have the same density. 
flammability is going to change what the matter is composed of. That's going to be a chemical property. Solubility, when salt dissolves, it's still salt. It's just mixed into the water. So that's a physical property. Um, acid is formed by H2. So therefore, that's a chemical property. It's an activity or a chemical change taking place. Combustion is another name for burning. So that is, again, a flammability or a flame. So that's going to be a chemical property. Sour taste, this would seem like it's chemical, but actually it's a physical property. Melting point, physical property. Forms gas in water, that's a, a chemical change taking place, so that's a chemical property. Forms water with a base, that again is a chemical change taking place, so therefore a chemical property. Hardness and boiling point are both physical properties. If it neutralizes an acid, that's an action taking place, a chemical action, so that's a chemical property. Luster is that it's shiny, so that's a physical property. Smell or odor, physical property. And oxidizes in air, that's a chemical change, so a chemical property. So hopefully you did well on that. And we're going to go ahead and have you uh, complete the SOFIA quiz that is associated with this. So come back and see part two of chapter two of chemistry, it's all that matters.